Uh, Alison Bentley, I lead the genetics and breeding work here at NIAB and my focus is on crop genetic improvement. Mm. And I'm Helen Ann Curry. I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of History and Philosophy of Science at Cambridge. And my specialty is in looking at the history of plant breeding, genetics, agricultural science uh, in, the, in the 20th century and beyond. Right. And I'm Martin Jones and I'm an archaeologist of food. So I look at uh, very old bits of wheat and other foods in uh, ancient bonfires and, and places like that. And I also um, work a bit with genetics and stuff. So from your experience of the, the history of food, is there any lessons about the future and, and what wheat could be in the future? I would say um, diversity is key in two respects. Diversity of how one answers that questions with particular crop solutions, and also recognizing that people's needs are diverse and situated in their social, political, historical context. So I think it's important to remember while we're thinking about how we want diversity, that we've created systems uh, in the world. We've created scientific research systems. We've created systems for the delivery of agricultural products to market, for its processing. Uh, systems that that are based on uniformity, that, right. that, that thrive with uniformity, that are meant to deal mm. with things that are the same. And yeah. so it's um, one thing to say that we want to redesign wheat or think about having more diverse products, more diverse wheat varieties, uh, different species, um, but we also have to remember that, that we need more diverse systems, systems yes. that, or systems that can mm. manage that diversity in order to really move forward on that. I think that comment about uniformity is really important because it really challenges us as plant breeders and researchers to think not just about this crop in isolation or, or creating better seeds or designing a plant in a different way, but remembering that the system around it is one that really craves uniformity. So when we think about diversity in the crop, we also need to think about how we can challenge the system or change the system to, to incorporate that and encourage that.